Alright, today we are going to do a hydraulic pressure test on the Kubota BX23S. So I came across this thing the other day. I was on a website called BX Bandit. It's where I've got a couple other things for the tractor. I've gotten a thumb for the backhoe, which works really well, and a skid plate for underneath the tractor because there's a lot of rocky terrain around here. Now this tractor's got about 200 hours on it, and all those hours are pretty much digging, scooping, pushing, you know, pretty hard on the hydraulics, and I feel that it, it, it doesn't possibly lift as much as it used to, but I'm not sure. So that's what we're going to do the test on. Uh, they have this kit, comes with a, we'll show it to you, comes with a gauge and some shims. So first off, we're going to do, see what the tractor can lift before we do anything. And then we're going to test it. If it is under the manufacturer pressures, then we're going to bring it up by shimming a relief valve spring in the back of the tractor. But if it is at the manufacturer specifications, then obviously we're not going to do anything. We do not want to exceed those because it could potentially damage the hydraulic system. Um, today, he is going to be the cameraman. And so we're going to get started. So, we had that thing wrapped up to about 3,000 RPMs, and with this amount of weight on, on there, which we added up yesterday, it would be 985 pounds. That is all the track weights I have, and lifted it, what was that, 21 inches off the ground, Heath? Mm-hmm. And that was it. That's all she had. So, now what we're going to do, fortunately, is i got to take all the weights out, because you have to... You know, take the loader off, not completely, but you have to take the loader off to get to this manifold here. So that's what we're going to do, just kind of get it, pull the tractor out enough to get to the manifold, take it off. So that's what we're going to be up to. Okay, so that relief spring, I believe, is located right there. The instruction says it's a 22 millimeter socket, so we're gonna try to pull that out. But it'll leave just enough room for your hand. Okay, gently pull it out. Tilt it up so that nothing drops. Okay, let's take that over to the workbench.
All right, here is the uh, relief spring and the little housing that holds it and the shims provided by BX Banded. Um, now, when we looked at that test, we thought that the PSI was just under 1750. And the manufacturer here, the manual, says it could be between 1790 and 1850 PSI. So we are going to try to do a black shim, which is 0.2 millimeters. And in the, these instructions, it says 0.2 should give us 80 PSI. So that should get us up to just under 1850 PSI. So we're gonna put in the black shim and try that. Now, if we exceed 1850, then of course we're gonna take it back out and we're gonna put in the one millimeter shim because that's supposed to be 40 PSI. So that is what we're going to do. Okay, so here is test number two with the black 0.2 millimeter shim. We're gonna fire it up and see what happens. Okay, so that second test for the 0.2 millimeter shim looks like it got us just to like 1850 PSI or just a little under, which is great. That's right where I want to be. So we're going to put the loader back on, pile all the weights into it, and see how much more uh, we can lift. And hopefully, you know, it's a decent amount more. Okay. Okay, so we got all the weights put back in the bucket that we had first, so we're going to do another test. It does lift a little bit more. I think it's a little disappointing. I expected more weight. But we do another 52 and a half pounds on there. It lifts about the same height. We'll show you that, and we'll also take that, that extra weight out. And it does lift the original weight, which was 985 pounds, a lot higher. Pete, you're your operator. Go ahead and fire it up. Hey, so each test, we, each test we take 3,000 RPMs, but we, we put the bucket a full curl. All right, Heath, go ahead. Okay, so that was 22 inches, so it's an inch higher than our original test. So we're going to take this weight out. And Heath, this time you're just going to lift it until it won't lift anymore, okay? Alright, fire it up, rev it up, lift. So the original weight was uh, 985 pounds and lifted it 30 inches high. That's what, nine inches higher than the original test. Um, we thought it would be more, but that's, that's all it is. It is a little bit more, 
torque, though. That's good. Um, the total weight that we could get at the lift, 22 inches off the ground, was 1,300 pounds. So that's it. Um, like this video, go ahead and hit like. Appreciate it. See you next time. Thanks.